Six-year-old Alyssa Thomas is like any little girl. Ta-da. She loves her dolls, <laughs> and she's already excited about the first grade. But according to the U.S. government, you should be worried about what she's up to. I'm putting a clip in her hair. We were like puzzled. I'm like, well, you know, she's kind of six years old. This, this is not something that should be typical, but I'm like, well, okay. Dr. Santosh Thomas was just made aware that his oldest daughter is on the list, the terror watch list that impacts travelers who could be a threat to national security. Alyssa's parents found out at the Continental check-in counter during a recent trip from Cleveland to Minneapolis. They said, well, she's on a list. We're like, okay, what's the story? What do we have to do to get off the list? That's not exactly the list we want to be on. Now we know there's a list. In fact, the government confirms that one exists, but the FBI won't say anything about who's on it, how many people are on it, or why. The family of four was allowed to make the trip, but they were told to contact Homeland Security. This letter is the response to six-year-old Alyssa. And the bottom line, the government won't confirm nor deny any information they have about her or someone else with the same name. She's been flying since she was two months old. So that has not been an issue. In fact, we had traveled to Mexico in February, and there were no issues at that time. According to the TSA, Alyssa never had problems before because the secure flight program just began in June for all domestic flights. A spokesperson will only say, quote, the watch lists are an important layer of security to prevent individuals with known or suspected ties to terrorism from flying. Alyssa has other priorities right now. My Barbie, my magic man, and jumping in my bed. Her name will likely stay on the list. And as for the next time she flies, the FBI says they'll rely on the common sense of the security agents. She may have threatened her sister, but I don't think that constitutes Homeland Security triggers. <laughs>